Oh, right, YouTubers, welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. Today, I thought we would take a look at the IS-1, but before we get started, I'd like to bring your attention to the skin that's on this vehicle. Once again, it was created by he who shall not be named, but I will provide a link to his live WarThunder.com profile. Unfortunately, as before, he has removed all of the skins from the profile, so I don't know whether you'll be able to get it, but I feel obligated to give credit where credit is due, so it will be down in the description. For those of you who have noticed something different with my voice today, I have two things going on. First of all, I'm very sick, but decided to use this time to try to get a video out for you. And second of all, I'm using a new condenser microphone to try to get rid of that thump 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 that you were hearing on some of my previous videos. So those two things in combination is the difference that you're hearing today. Now the IS tanks were a series of heavy tanks developed as a successor to the KV series by the Soviet Union during the Second World War. It was named after Soviet leader Joseph Stalin. The heavy tank was designed with thick armor to counter the new German 75mm and 88mm guns and carried a main gun that was capable of defeating the German Tiger and Panther tanks. It was designed as a breakthrough tank, firing a heavy high explosive projectile that was useful against entrenchments and bunkers. The KV-1 was criticized by its crews because it had poor mobility and the same armament as the much more mobile and combat effective T-34 medium tank. The KV also was much more expensive to produce than the T-34. This led Moscow to order a portion of KV-1 assembly lines to shift to T-34 production. The Soviets had been interested in developing a new universal tank as early as 1941 with the KV-13 project. This project was an attempt to combine the best features of the KV-1 and the 234 and produced the object 233. Although it was ultimately rejected, it provided valuable insight for future programs. With the arrival of the first Tiger tanks on the Russian battlefield, in late 1942, it became obvious that a new heavy tank was needed to counter the threat. So in January 1943, the decision to develop a new heavy tank was made and given the code name Object 237. The Object 237 prototype, later renamed the IS-85, was to be armed with the excellent D-5T 85mm gun in a new three-man turret which featured a commander's cupola on the left rear side and a rear ball mount DT machine gun. A second machine gun was to be mounted coaxially with the main gun, firing tracers which served to adjust the main gun. A third machine gun was to be mounted in the hull. The hull was brand new cast slope design directly inspired by the KV-13. This was a stout armor layout designed to deflect or resist shots at all angles. However, the initial armor was designed to stop only the Panzer III 50mm rounds and needed to be massively thickened, with a strict specification that it was not to exceed the weight of the original KV-1. Due to long technical delays in IS-85 production, Along with urgent request for more heavy tanks with even heavier armament, a stopgap measure was needed. Fortunately, the IS-85 turret was available by this time, and a new tank was made by taking a further modified KV-1S chassis and mounting an IS-85 turret on top, resulting in the KV-85. 148 KV-85s were produced in the second half of 1943 until the IS-85 tank entered production. First deliveries of the IS-85 were made in October 1943 and it was immediately rushed into service. Through this period, further development of the T-34 had been taking place and by 1943 
engineers had successfully mounted an 85 millimeter gun to this chassis as well. This made the IS-85 redundant in the same way the original T-34 had been with the KV-1. Efforts to upgun the IS-85 began in 1943. Production of the IS-85 ended in January 1944 with around 200 to 207 being produced. The IS-85's designation was simplified to IS-1 after the introduction of the upgunned IS-122, which itself was later rearmed and redesignated IS-2. Now in War Thunder, the IS-1 has a rank 3 with a battle rating of 5.7. It has a 582 horsepower engine propelling the 44 ton vehicle to a top speed of 26.2 miles per hour. It comes equipped with the 85 mm D5T cannon and with a maxed out crew you can achieve a reload of 7.9 seconds. So what do I think of the IS-1 here in War Thunder? Well to be honest I haven't played it all that much. I don't even think I have it fully upgraded. But from the little bit that I have played it, I've noticed that its armor is more effective from a distance. And that at this tier, it is not invulnerable. Um, I was surprised the thing can be taken out fairly easily. So be careful of that. I don't think it is best used in a slugging match, but more as a heavy support vehicle. The D5T gun is very effective at this tier, but it seems to me that if you close in to below 500 meters, that uh, this tank can get penetrated pretty easily. So if you have the ability on these different maps to stand off and still contribute, uh, that's what I like to do. But, you know, sometimes the map dictates and you do need to get in there. It could be an urban environment or something like that. And you just can't um, stand off that far. So, at that point, use angling as best as you can. And try not to let somebody shoot at the flat side of your turret. Just angle it just a little bit. So, why don't we hop into a game? See what we, see what we can do. The IS-1. Okay, looks like we picked up Ash River, and we are on the western side. Now, normally, I would take the southernmost uh, point and head over to A and hide behind the rock. But today, I think I'm going to take the northern point and uh, show you a hiding spot over on this side of the map. So, yeah, here we go. All right, we're facing in the right direction. Now, the IS can be a little slow when it's turning and stuff, but it is so much better than the KV-1 uh, with regards to maneuverability and speed. Um, but that's what it was designed to do, to be faster and more maneuverable than the KV-1. So you'll see I'm getting up here on the road, just to the edge of the road. And look, we're already 20, 21. This thing is, is fairly nimble for a heavy tank. 25 miles per hour? I need to go around this AI here. See the rocks directly up in front where my cursor is pointing? We're going to go just to the left of there. This place is fairly easy to get to at the beginning of a map, but if you try to do it after you respawn, if you've been killed, uh, you probably get popped. Okay, so we're covered by this rock on the right. We got some enemies up here on the hill. Got it. 
Okay, T-34. What do we got here? Oh, he hit me. Missed him. Okay, what is that? There we go. Churchill. Alright, let's pull forward and we can fire down this way. It's an AIM-3. And we can shoot right over here on the flats. If somebody comes over here. So I have three different areas I can engage people. But I can also be engaged from the bridge area over there. Let's back up over here and see what we got. Missed him. Oh, T thirty four eighty five, right over here. Where is he at? Well, he's over there somewhere. Oh, there he is. Just nicked him. Just nicked him. the way around here. Take care of that British tank. There we go. It's a feeding frenzy. Do I got a shot? Not really. No, 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 now I get it. I don't know. Can't really tell. I hit him. Hit him and messed up his. Oh. He wants to hit me. Need to repair. Just pull forward. Oh, there's that T-3485 again. Now, if you see enemies over here, you need to prioritize them because they have a better shot at you. Oh, what do we got here? We had a KB-2. Gotta repair again. Hold on. Wait. There's that T thirty four eighty five again up there. Okay. Now, let's see. Oh, why he would give me his side when he knew I was over here. I have no idea. Must have been a better, bigger threat somewhere else. There we go.
There was another one over there. I was hoping he was going to come out. Oh. Oh. Come on. Reload. There we go. Pull on forward. Sometimes you can get fire down there too. Somebody. Uh, it's too far. I can't get a can't get a clear sight on that person. Maybe they'll come back down this way. Let's see if there's anybody over here I can shoot at. Oh, there he is. Right there. Oh. Come on. Nope, he's behind a rock. Okay. Oh. Somebody over here. the game's over. Okay. Let's see what we did. Anytime now. Claire, these screens take longer than they used to. Okay. All right. Multi strike. Tank rescuer. Shadow strike streak. Professional. One shot, anti mech, heavy metal fury. Not too bad. We destroyed nine ground units with one assist. Got some new ammo. First place in the team 38,379 silver lions. And we got seven player kills. Not too bad. Let's save it. Okay, so yep, there's the ammo we picked up. What do we want next? Yeah, probably should go. Cut. That was nice. Shots were a little off target, so we're going to do that. And, wait, what is, what is that? Highlighted. Okay, we picked up something for the war bonds. Okay. Not too bad. So this was a look at the IS-1. Um, like I say, wasn't fully upgraded, but still not too bad. And that's a pretty nice position on the map if you can get it. But you do have to keep an eye out to your front because anybody down in that green area and stuff over by the bridge will have a shot at you so you need to prioritize those 
over the people on the hill. Okay, so I've been picking up quite a few new subscribers lately. I really appreciate y'all join, joining me. And for all the subscribers who have been around for a while, thank you so much for staying around with me. Uh, for your new people, if you don't know, um, I'm running a contest to give away an M10 Achilles starter pack. About a month ago, I put out a video, a giveaway video. There will be a link down in the, down in the description to that video. Um, if you go and watch that video and leave a comment on that video, when I reach 5,000 subscribers, I will select a comment off of that video and award that person an M10 Achilles starter pack. So if you didn't know about it, now you do. If you're watching and you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you liked this video on the IS-1, hit that like button. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.